I've got such a fun surprise for you guys. You're not gonna believe this, but there is actually an H&M home concept store in Copenhagen, and we're gonna take you in there. Okay, yeah, so um, make sure you hit subscribe and like if you are as big a fan of H&M Home as we are, and we will try to link up as many things as we can and leave you our favorites. Not everything's available outside of Denmark, but if it's there, we will try to link it up for you guys and show you all of our favorites. So prepare your mind to be utterly blown. Let's go. <laughs> I can't believe we're even here. <laughs> I can't believe we're actually I, I feel like I'm in a dream. I know. A dream that was once reality, so then it's really weird. <laughs> it is weird. It's like going back to a dream that you don't normally get to do. That's right. It is. It's like waking up and getting go to go back to that good yeah, dream. Choose to go back to it again. And it's just as good. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it feels like. Yeah. Real? Is this really happening? Am I? Is this? Well, clearly I was in <laughs> ecstasy. <laughs> it was shocking, and immediately I was just totally and utterly blown away by how they not only were displaying so many products, but also had them displayed in just different settings. I mean, you can see here where they had the table set and I was busy taking Instagram <laughs> shots. I was so excited, I almost couldn't even express myself, but the music was also really loud in here. So <laughs> yeah, again, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> the music was super loud in here, so it was really, really hard to actually hear the video. So I thought we might jump over to a little voiceover for you so that I could actually walk you through when I can actually talk intelligently. Okay, at least attempt to talk intelligently. The, the racks were full of so many beautiful items. I was actually looking things up. This is what I was telling Jack. Uh, yes, I'm putting things in my cart in the US. I wasn't ignoring him or you guys. I was checking to see what was available in the US and trying to decide whether I should buy it here or if I could just have it shipped directly to my house from hmhome.com. So here you can see they had these incredible sculptural vases. They also had a lot of products that are not sold by H&M Home online. They had a lot of books, they had a lot of accessories. It was an immersive experience and I think that's why it just it was just so much fun. And you can see here where they had things that were not available in the US. And then it's funny because once I got back to the US, a lot of that was available. So I'll be sharing all of that with you very soon. But they even had this gorgeous, like, plant store in the middle of H&M. I mean, it was just, it was so inspiring. And uh, here I pointed out they had stacks of books, which I had literally just ordered and I hadn't even had time to even open mine yet. You guys know I love those bubble vases. I have them at home in the beige, but they had them in the green here. And I was just trying to take everything in. The store had plants. That was what I was saying here is that the store actually was selling plants. It's truly a concept store where it's living, there's things added to it that you wouldn't normally get offline. But I was just trying to remember everything. There was so much to take in. And I also wanted to be able to update you guys on Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you check out the House of Valentina on Instagram as well so you can see all the different little shots I was taking while we were in here. But there was so many wonderful and inspiring items and I thought it was so great to see the planters with plants in them and to see even what type of plants they were choosing. I'm freaking stoked. This is so cool. It's Amazing. The other one was yeah. amazing. This is like, I can't even get excited because I will literally scream in the middle of the store. <laughs> yeah, which is very non Danish. By the way. They don't usually scream in stores. They don't even talk in stores. No. Just the fact that we're talking makes it abnormal. Exactly. <laughs> I, 
I don't want to risk waiting to get home to see that this stuff sold out. Right. It's just so good. My God, where is this? I want one of these. It's beautiful. We can even get some of this stuff. I really like my jeans. Rosy color. It's so beautiful. I have that at home. Do you really? Yes. In that same color? Yes, I have that. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. It's been sitting in our bedroom. You've seen it. <laughs> the stool here. This is so cool. You can get that stuff. Look at this. Look, I literally just bought that for you, you yesterday. Did. I know. Not yesterday. A couple days ago. A couple days ago. Yeah, no, we don't. This sun-dried linen. I don't know that they sell that. I'm going to look at our site and see. Well, while I was busy checking to see what else was available online, you can see a few of my favorites even stacked here. It was really fun because they had so many different displays and they were color coordinated and it was just a lot of fun to get to see everything in person and see the collections together. Here they even had these really nice jams. I think those are actually sold on Amazon. I'll link to everything if I can. But they just had these extra brands there and it was really fun to see how they had created an immersive experience to show you how you might be able to create a home with their items and the kinds of things that you might accessorize your kitchen with and we'll get upstairs in just a minute to see the bedroom and bath area. But I was geeking out over this dark color on the walls. This was originally how I wanted to paint my kitchen. I wanted to do those dark colors and everybody talked to me out of it. Uh, I was kind of thinking, mm, maybe I should think about it again. And while I was thinking about that, Jack was perusing the kitchen area. I wanted to take one of everything home. I mean, the list is going to be so long down in the description box for all the items. Here I was talking about that paint color again. I was like, oh, this is what I wanted. I thought it was so cool. And Jack's like, maybe you should do that when you get home. So you guys let us know down in the comments if you think we should do some more color on the walls like that and go a little bit darker. I think it looks so good. And here you've got all of these beautiful glassware and I knew I wasn't going to be able to get all of that home, but there were so many things to check out and I just was like, Jack, just pan. <laughs> Let everybody see as much as they can. I want you guys to get as much of this experience as I can possibly give you no matter where you are in the world. I'm not leaving. <laughs> I don't care if I'm the allowed American. They're gonna have to learn to live with me. Okay, so um, apparently since I am actually home, I did actually decide to come back. <laughs> But you can see, I think you can kind of see why I loved it so much. You guys know I personally absolutely love the black, the white, the creams, the beiges, the store just felt like me. It just felt like home. And I think that that's really a lot of fun when you can go to a shop that's so curated and everything is just right. And you know that you could literally grab anything off of the shelf and it would be perfect at home. I actually just ordered those uh, those cups and a lot of these dishes and a lot of these things I had already placed an order for. So stay tuned to the end. I'm going to be sharing a lot of these kinds of things, which were way too impractical to try to put into a suitcase. But again, here's that brand with like the pestos and the jams. Yeah, I'm definitely going to find the link and I'll leave that for you. <laughs> My hands are shaking. My I'm literally shaking. I'm like balls. <laughs> oh my God. 
Well, clearly I was a little bit jet lagged and probably a little bit emotional, but don't hold it against me. I was back home in my home away from home and I was just giddy with excitement. Look at this shop. I mean, look at this beautiful stairwell. Jack's a little wobbly here on the, on the images here, but he was trying to show you that chevron floor, the black colors, and I even really liked this sort of yellow mustard color that they had in here, but he was trying to show you guys maybe not that well, that they had the original floors in this building and the juxtaposition of styles is something that I'm always trying to strive for and I got really, I geeked out because look at what they had. It had they had a black <laughs> claw foot tub just like I have at home and even the wood color of the floors was like what I have at home and I was just, oh yeah, and they had my rope. <laughs> I just thought it was a lot of fun to experience the House of Valentina, really, and I felt like this was the closest I'd ever found in a shop that really showed our style, and it was a lot of fun, and it was really inspiring, and again, you're seeing other brands mixed in here with H&M Home, even just the sink, that's what I was saying here, I'm sorry the music is so loud, but I was trying to tell you guys about the sink, and the black and white, and the wood flooring. That lady was carrying this. This is exactly what it smelled like. I thought it was her perfume. We're not leaving without that. Ooh, that's amazing. This is actually from a British brand. Oh, it smells so good. I apologize because I really wanted to share more from the store and what we were saying, but it was the music was just so loud. You really just couldn't hear very well. But I love that Jack got this shot because you can see everybody walking down on the cobblestone streets and the buildings all around. This is literally where this shop is. It's literally right down in the center of the city in the historical area. And it's just so inspiring. And I love how the Danes blend the two styles. They have that historical outside, but then they'll blend something super modern. I, I was freaking out here. I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> just again. <laughs> I think that's a general consensus. I was freaking out and I wanted to make sure that I shared as much with you as possible. But we're headed back down and I just thought that we would give you another last little peek. I know a lot of this is available online in the US, but there were a few things that I definitely could not get in the US and a few things I was afraid would be sold out. So, yeah, this is why we brought an extra suitcase. <laughs> Actually, we brought 
until about three extra suitcases. <laughs> Not sure how we get them all home, but we will find a way. Lots to Uber. <laughs> well, anyways, I will meet you back at home home, back in the US, and I'm gonna show you my H&M haul and a few things that I'd actually ordered right before we left. Yeah, oh my gosh. I may be an H&M-aholic. <laughs> H&M Homeaholic. There we go, Homeaholic. Oh my god. H-M Homeaholic. H-H-H-A. Homeaholic. That's a whole new thing. If I breathe, maybe it, I'll wake up. I know. I know. Still feels like a dream. Okay. I love it here. I know, I do too. I cannot believe we're here. This is literally the road I went down every day to take our kids to preschool. And then the language school was right next yeah. to it. So literally rode my bike down the street literally every day for almost two years. I used to always ride by that chocolate store and always want to stop and get one, but I was always running late. <laughs> I am so happy I'm giddy. There are not even words. And it's even gotten warmer actually. Perfect. It's perfect. Perfect weather. You couldn't have a more perfect day. So, okay, hope you guys are loving this. We will give you the haul back in the U.S. I can't believe we're doing this. I know. It's so surreal. Okay. We gotta go do a little more shopping. Come on. Come on. Guys, we are back in Atlanta, and we thought it'd be really fun to share with you what we got at the H&M Concept Store. Just the fact that we even got to do that is still, like, blowing my mind. I still can't believe it. I'm like, what? That was literally amazing it was it was so cool but you know look at us we're like drinking out of our royal copenhagen know, cups royal we're copenhagen. like you have our scandinavian moment <laughs> yes okay <laughs> i'm gonna set mine down before i get too excited and spill it everywhere i will uh, be why don't you start handing us stuff mm. all right i'll hand you stuff so one of the first things that i got was this little candle i think i've mentioned this in one of the other videos it had just arrived and I used one very similar to this. It's the, the taupe one. I used that one in my sister's lake house. It smells so it smells good. smells so good. This patchouli, I think this is the patchouli fragrance. It just smells amazing. And what a cool just, container Yeah, too. the vessel oh is amazing. So what I love about this is that these vessels are things that you can keep forever. And so you're not yeah. just buying a candle and then just getting rid of it. So to have it in a really great vessel like this just looks, so cool. so cool and the taupe one if you watched my sister's renovation you will have seen that on the media cabinet so check them both out they are amazing literally just arrived i wanted it in the store and i was afraid that they wouldn't even have it here so what happened which was really interesting they had stuff in the store there and i bought a few things and then when i got back h&m home just released them in the u.s so um, I placed the order two days ago and it arrived that fast because I may have paid for express shipping. But there's some other things that are also not? on the way and well, Father's Day is coming and I realized oh, I true. needed a couple things. So yeah, um, why not just throw the basin while I'm there? <laughs> Shopping this for Father's is Day. truly amazing. Yeah, it's sculptural. It's- Oh my gosh. It, it's- And it's not perfect, like the shape is unique. Yeah, it's and it like looks, truly handmade. Yeah, and it's gorgeous. It's amazing, yeah. Yeah, I had just oh, ordered. These are awesome. I bought a few of these pieces before and I was like, I'm gonna regret not buying more. And then when we were standing in the store, they had a lot of this in the store and it looked so good. I didn't buy the ones with the little bobbly sides. Oh, okay. I was afraid I couldn't get them home, but I had already just ordered these here. So I've got the, the bowls which are I misshapen. Love these. And then I love the deep bowls like this because I love to put salads and even pastas. Everybody loves these. We've been we have using such these a hard time going back to a regular plate unless it's for like dessert because this is so nice because it just corrals everything and keeps it from like sliding from off. Running away. Yeah, but yeah, I just bought a set of these. Also had some things that were sold out in the U.S. and I'm hoping that is a sign that they are going to bring them back. If you guys remember, I bought the bed set that goes with this oh, yeah. a few weeks ago and it immediately sold out and everybody's aggravated and wants it. It's got like a like a boucle kind of material with the little black edging. So I just went ahead and bought, I bought three of these so I could put them across the front of the bed. I bought these as well. I love the geometric pattern and I like this light, like almost like a beige cream kind of color. Oh, yeah. It's the colorway is so pretty. 
So I'm not sure if these will be available in the US. I will link up everything that I can or something that is similar. And then just keep your eye out because I think they're gonna be coming out with this stuff again in the US. I hope so. Uh, if then, not, I have another solution for that. I know, we'll have to go back. <laughs> we'll just do big group orders and every other <laughs> week I'll go run over there real fast. This is why we need our own store. <laughs> stuff the pillowcases with like cinnamon rolls and stuff to get them back. I love it. So, yeah, we stuffed a lot of things with candies and stuff all kinds to, of treats. Including me. Yeah, so then I also got these <sighs> and- So cool. They just looked so good in the store, all oh, the yeah. dark black, and then these, I was like, oh my gosh, they uh. look so good. So this is more of like, almost like a, a brownish, almost kind of like a pumpkin spice kind of color, but I did actually buy them in the black too, because I was like, I don't know which one I want more. I know. I'm just, gonna order, I'm just gonna get them both. I'm just gonna get both. I will use them either in our own home or in projects that are coming up. The bubble vases, I wanted to show you mine because I was freaking out about them in the store. I love these. I think they're so beautiful. I think they're fun. I think the overall design, it's just like got a really pretty crackle finish in it. And, and the color yeah, is awesome. The color is perfection. And they had the green ones. If you guys want more color, the green ones are also available and they come in different sizes as well. I have, I think I have every size. I just ordered these as well and I've been kind of going crazy over them because I love the sculptural yeah. feel of them, but then they also have texture. incredible texture to them. So this was one that I already had. Again, we were trying to be careful about what we were gonna put in our bags because we don't want things to break. And then we went a little crazy. So <laughs> if you're not a subscriber, you're gonna wanna be a subscriber because we're gonna do a massive Scandinavian haul, including things that we may have just actually shipped back because there was no way they were fitting in suitcases. And I think they shipped back faster than we got back. Almost. <clears throat> like we should have really shipped did. ourselves UPS because the stuff got here quick. There you go, just ship yourself. <laughs> So this is one of the items that was not available in the US. And so I bought it because I was like, uh, again, look at the it's gorgeous incredible. vessel. It's got that texture like that vase did. And I love that it's got this little indention. I wanna like put something in there. <laughs> he put something there and I'm like, it's like a cookie. I <laughs> He's thinking like, like, <laughs> thinking a treat. Like a, that's not what you're supposed to use it for. <laughs> And I promise I won't actually use it like that. I can that. tell we're both hungry right now. I know, but Ooh. inside it has the sun-dried linen. Oh my gosh. It just smells so oh, good. So, so clean. It, I bought it there, even though it was a little bit heavier because it wasn't available in the US, and I just saw that it's available. This is actually from a company oh called Seven London, and I don't know if that is available in the US, but clearly based off of his reaction. Oh <clears throat> this was, to me, one of- so good. It's like raw. It's just and organic and incredible. Yeah. So at the normal H and M, there's like the socks right by the cash register. Yeah. But at the H and M Home <laughs> Store, it's like this. They're little coconut scrubbers. They were so cute. And fun. I don't know if these are available on H and M Home, but I do know that they have something similar on Amazon. So if they aren't available on H and M Home, I'll also give you the link to Amazon as They're well cool. because that I like it because that's gonna look really great. So I figured visually. Visually, just kind of sitting in the by the sink, you know, and you guys know if you're a subscriber that I'm weird about my sponges. <laughs> they had to be pretty. And then I had just ordered this, one line a day, and it was supposed to be an early Father's Day gift for this guy, and mm -hmm. we used it for our Amazon event when oh, we yeah. did the Father's Day Amazon event. So he got to see his Father's Day gifts a little bit early. And but thankfully I'm forgetful. So that, yeah. I won't remember any of it. You won't remember even <laughs> a couple days from now. <laughs> But this is really cool because it's got the lines in there and that. the dates. And so every day I told him he should put what he's thankful for in every single day for the next five years. And that will be a really fun memory. I'm just going to pre-fill it out. No. Valentina. You're wake up. Mm -hmm. Valentina. That's what you should write. Valentina. <laughs> But I do think it's really fun. It's I, a memory book. That, that is how I'm going to use it, by the way. I think it's just really neat. And this is something I think could make a really nice gift. I might, I might order one of my, for my own. Yeah. I know and Haley would like this, too. Yes, yeah, she would. She, she likes books. to write things down like that. So it's a fun way of journaling and a really pretty package as well. It's got that linen cover. Isn't that pretty? Love it. I love it, love it, do love it. Book? Then, if you noticed, I pointed out that the book section was packed with so many yeah, books so that cool. we share with you guys on this channel, but also this is one I had just ordered and I hadn't even opened it yet. So I was really excited that it was there. It's in calm interiors to nurture, relax, and restore. Oh, and awesome. it really just conveys 
that Scandinavian feel. And seeing this book and being there oh, that picture. really just reminded us that it is fun to have a luxury home. It is fun to have luxurious things, but the life that you're living inside of your home and the sort of calm and things like that, this is something that it's not always the most expensive stuff that gives you the greatest luxury in life. And I think that's what we just remind, we really reminded ourselves a lot while we were in Scandinavia. So then I also bought the so cool. platter that goes with the bowls and the plates, because I really loved it. And I loved the texture that's in it. It's just like that cool texture yeah. makes everything you serve on it look better. And I think that it's those little kinds of things that I think we all got to kind of know, but it's like a reminder. Oh yeah. yeah, it does. When you plate it up and you don't just put it out like in a plastic tub, which is probably what a lot of us would probably err <laughs> on the side of like whatever's easiest, right? But really just plating up your salad and making it something really special. It makes eating healthy, I think, more fun. It just elevates whatever you put it, it honestly. honestly elevates anything. And yeah. it makes it just more exciting and wonderful to eat. So, so that is all that we have for today. I'm very excited that you guys have joined us and we have so much more to share with you. So make sure you hit subscribe because this was like just, this was day two. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> This was Incredible. just the beginning. This is just the beginning of our one week trip. So yeah. we have so much more to share with you. We're gonna take you through all the designer shops, share with you all of our favorite finds. We've got the huge Scandinavian haul still left to do. We went to Tivoli. We had so much fun. Tivoli is the theme park that Walt amusement Disney park. came to, <laughs> amusement park, yeah. It's gardens and oh, with an amusement park in it. Amazing. And so Disney came and fell in love with it and decided to go home and make Walt Disney Land, the original. So um, we have so much amazing special things to share with you. I'm, I'm still, I can't process all of it. It's like so many good things all at once. And it was just so, it was, just, it was just such a treat to actually get to do this and to be able to share it with you guys. Yeah, so thank you so much for joining us. Bye. Bye. Cheers. Cheers. I love my cups too. I know I do too. <laughs>